Today I want to talk to you guys about my onion crop and uh, it's an amazing yield and it's amazing how much you can grow in a small space. You know a lot of people um, with their gardens might have a tendency to focus on the crops that give them a lot of stuff throughout the season like greens and herbs and and smaller root crops these are things that I've talked about for many years uh, and really encourage people to grow on small farms because you get a high turnover but when it comes to homesteading you can do a lot in a fairly small space and I would say grow at least most of the onions you would need in a year in this one bed so this bed these, all these, these raised beds in my front yard here are 18 feet long and they're 30 inches wide on the inside dimensions. They're raised beds. And I've got five rows of these onions. And they are planted in clusters. You can see here, there's an example of one. So I'm, I'm going about three to five seeds per plug. And you can do them this way by, with any kind of plug. I, of course, use the paper pot transplanter. And you can see when you get these clusters together, look at this. In this little area here, I've got four, I've got eight onions in basically a linear foot. And that's a lot of crop right there. And right now I'm gonna going through and just harvesting the good size ones, like this guy here. Get him out. And then I might, you know, come in here, get this guy out here. And then that's going to free up some space for the rest of those to grow bigger. And I can come in here. Look at this one. I've got five in there. So, you know, it's amazing how tight you can actually plant these and continue to get a lot of yield. You know, I just basically pulled out, you know, it, I didn't even, that didn't even really dent the bed. And I've got about 10 or 11 onions there. And that's a lot. I mean, how many, how many onions, here's a question to ask yourself, is how many onions do you eat a week? How many of these red onions would you eat a week? You know, as a family or, a, or somebody who's single, how much are you going to use in a week? Think about that and then think about how much you want to plant. Now I've got another bed over here that was kind of what was left over and I just put it in there. Had a lot of extra garden space this year because I pulled my strawberries out and put them in the food forest. And, uh, but you know, how many would you use in a week? Maybe you'd use, I don't know, I'm just thinking we might use two full onions in a week on average. So quantify that by 56 weeks. Um, and yeah, maybe a hundred and a uh, hundred or something. Maybe, maybe be a little bit generous and say, I want 200 onions a year. I wouldn't be surprised if we had about that in this entire bed. And we've got a lot more up at the farm, but this is uh, this is a lot of onions. And I think for, for the average small family, you know, this is about, okay, my wife informs me that we actually eat about three to five onions a week. So again, let's go five times 56. So yeah, we're pushing 200 onions we'll need in a year. And I think, just looking at this, we're pretty close to that. And they'll size up at different times, but a lot of them are coming up nice right now. Thank you, sweetie. I sure do. My daughter just gave me some goji berries. And um, yeah, so I mean, you can do these with normal plugs. I got five rows in a 30 inch bed and the plugs are six inches apart. So with these, I used six inch chain pots, three to five uh, seeds per cell. And these onions, these were all started fairly early. These would have been started in March, I believe. Transplanted in, uh, actually these might've been started in late February. Transplanted in uh, early April or so. And now we are, you know, first week of August and we're starting to harvest them. And we've actually been picking off these for a couple weeks now, but that's a solid crop. Once we crop out enough, Katie likes to braid them and then we just hang them up in our uh, back area here, just behind our greenhouse where it's nice and dry. 
and uh, it seems to cure them up well. The variety I didn't mention is called Red Wing and it's been a, a classic staple storage onion I've been growing for years and you can get over a year of shelf life from this onion so it's it, it hands down the best storage onion I've ever grown and we also do the same for our garlic or shallots or any other type of onion that we're growing. It's just important that uh, when they're cured that you bring them somewhere that doesn't freeze. We can uh, we actually bring our onions uh, once they're cured and put them in totes in our root cellar in uh, the basement of our home where they stay about 10 degrees Celsius consistently and they'll keep for well over a year down there. If you guys like that video make sure to hit the subscribe button, share and like them with your friends and if you want to see some of my other videos like my Liberty on the Land podcast those are no longer on YouTube those are all up on BitChute and you can just search my channel uh, on BitChute and find it but I'll put a link in the show notes to it so if you're curious about some of that content that's where it all lives now all right guys have a great day mm -hmm.